planning to go on a trip? Well, I am going to share to you our trip in the Lion City, San Pa, in Singapore. And finally, we are approaching the Changi Airport and me while in plane is sobrang excited to touch down Singapore. And finally, we're here in Changi Airport and sobrang ganda ng Changi Airport guys. Airport pa lang actually tourist attractions na and marami ka nang pwedeng gawin inside the Changi Airport. And this one, na amazed lang kami sa super gandang mga flower arrangement na naka-decorate inside the Changi Airport. And after passing the immigration, getting your SIM cards, and buying the single tourist pass, we're finally here in the MRT Express train going to our hotel in Little India. And this is our first ride sa kanilang hotel which is super reliable and super easy to access guys. And we want to thank our Kubayan Miss Joy for helping us in Singapore. And after two interchange guys, we're finally here in Little India. Guys, kaya siya Little India kasi isa siyang uh, Indian district na maraming mga Indian resident guys. And we stayed in Footprint Hostel in Little India. This is our first stop. This is House of Tan Peng Nya, which is walking distance lang from our hotel. And after magpahinga namin ng saglit, we went to Clark Cay. Guys, this is a very good itinerary. If dumating kayo ng hapon sa Singapore, you can go to Clark Cay to explore the beautiful and vibrant nightclubs kasi Clark Cay is good for bar hopping. And aside from bar hopping, guys, Clark Cay is a very good spot for viewing Singapore River. And meron ding river cruise na makikita niya along the river. So if you have money, guys, this is a very good experience which we did not try kasi syempre nagtitipid kami. Mga kalakwacha, this is our second day in Singapore. And for our second day, we choose to go to Universal Singapore Studio. And eto na nga papunta na kami after naming mag-breakfast and good thing talaga pre-breakfast sa tinutuluyan namin. Nag-MRT ulit kami which is malapit lang yung station sa aming tinutuluyan. And again, syempre, pila is life. Napaka-disiplinado ng mga tao sa Singapore. Kaya syempre, mahihiya ka talagang hindi sumunod. So this is our way to Sentosa which is andun yung Universal Singapore Studio. And welcome to USS. This is USS and if ayaw mong pumasok guys, pwede kang magpa-picture sa labas kasi andun yung famous globe. Ayan, diba? Hi dog! Good for your ray! Hello maniniyot! Pero syempre pumasok kami sa Universal Singapore Studio kasi naman diba sayang din yung experience. Sobrang aga namin guys and ayan nakapila na kami. And ang maganda kasi nakakilook kami so madali na yung pila. So welcome to Universal Singapore Studio and this is us walking inside the USS. Actually we don't really know what to do so eto palakad-lakad lang. And since maaga kami, hindi pa ganun ka dami yung mga tao. Tip ko lang sa inyo guys, if you plan to go to Universal Singapore Studio or kahit anong theme park, mas mainam maaga kayong pumunta para walang masyadong tao and mauna ka sa pila. So this is inside the Universal Singapore Studio which is sobrang init guys and ito yung makikita nyo sa center. And merong mga shows din and may mga time slots siya so make sure alam nyo yung mga oras kung saan nyo gustong pumasok and eto is pumasok kami para magpa aircon and it turns out maganda naman pala yung show and sobrang nakakaaliw. This 
is one of my favorite ride which is Jurassic Park and eto talaga good luck kasi mababasa ka so eto nakapag video kami guys pero actually bawal mag video and maraming CCTV kaya ayun nasita kami so wag nyo nang tularan guys ha para hindi din kayo masita tulad namin sobrang nag enjoy talaga kami dito and nakakakaba and talagang kakabaan ka kasi matatakot ka na baka mabasa ka so ayan So, if you're strolling, marami din kayong makikita ang mga shows along the street, guys. And this one, ang naabutan namin yung show. And alam nyo ba, yung mga sumasayaw dyan is mga Filipino and nakaka-proud silang tingnan. And grabe, ang galing-galing nila. These are some of the pictures I took inside USS. Kasi, konti lang video na kuhanan ko. And eto, papakita ko sa inyo. Make sure may bawang kayong magic flakes. Sobrang mahal ang pagkain doon. And ang maganda, weekdays guys. Kasi walang masyadong pila. This is at Vivo Center. Ito yung mall. Before kayo sumakay ng train papuntang Sentosa guys. Dito na din kami kumain kasi maraming mga choices. After that, we went to Chinatown. And bumili ng mga pasalubong. And for our third day... Eto, naglalakad lang kami from our hotel going to uh, temples, mga Hindu temples, guys. This is just near our place. Get ready with your feet, Kalakwacha, kasi in Singapore, sobrang daming lakaran. And sobrang mapapagod ka talaga. And this is our pictures which I took around Little India. And after Little India, guys, we went to Singapore Botanical Garden. And sobrang ganda ng botanical garden nila. And sobrang lawak na kailangan mo pang mag-map. And guys, this is one of the UNESCO heritage. Kaya sobrang pinapangalagaan ng Singapore government ang kanilang garden. Napakaganda talaga dito guys. Hindi kayo magsisisi. And after here, we went to Marina Bay and Merlion Park. Which is sobrang ganda niya paggabi kasi... Look at the colors guys, sobrang vibrant and napakaganda ng city lights kung mapapansin nyo, ayan. And for our fourth day guys, sobrang aga na naman namin kasi pupuntahan namin ang mga attractions around Lavender, Boogies, Hedge Lane and Arab Street. This is Hagelane guys. Masarap maglakad dito kasi sobrang vibrant ng lugar and very Instagrammable siya. And eto is papunta sa mosque. Ayan. Scripted yan guys kaya wag na wag kayong maniniwala dyan. But then this is a really good spot for pictorial guys kasi again napaka colorful ng street. Konting lakad lang from Masjid Mosque, makikita mo na itong Malay Heritage Center. Hindi na kami pumasok guys, sa labas na lang kami nag-Victoria which is sobrang nanginayang kami. But then it's okay kasi nag-enjoy naman kami. And these are the photos which we took around Haji Lane, Arab Street, Masjid Mosque, and Malay Heritage Center. Bumalik ulit kami sa Chinatown para dito mag-lunch. And guys, masarap at mura ang mga pagkain na pinibenta sa mga Chinese restaurant. Bumalik din kami sa Merlion Park para makita namin kung ano yung ambience and itsura pag daytime. And makikita nyo, sobrang iba naman talaga yung aura niya. And this is me again guys, scripted na paglakad ulit, kunwari hindi alam and hindi nakatingin. Oh, 
and after taking some pictures, we went to Gardens by the Bay. This is actually the Super Tree Groove inside the Gardens by the Bay. Actually guys, free admission lang po, pero you need to pay 5 Singaporean dollars if Sobrang ganda dito pag gabi, especially at 8 p.m. kasi may show. This is inside the flower dome guys and as usual maraming different kinds of flowers inside here and mabubusog talaga ang mga mata mo sa makikita mo. This is the cloud forest and this is the man-made falls na sobrang nakakabilib guys. Sobrang ganda ng Singapore guys. Mapapabilib ka kasi kahit gaano ka-develop ang country nila, hindi nila nakakalimutang pahalagahan ang kalikasan. Dito ko din na-realize na hindi sa halaga ng pera na baon mo, mag -e enjoy ka sa travel mo, kundi sa mga kaibigang kasama mo. I hope na mag-enjoy kayo sa inyong Singapore trip and I hope na makatulong ito sa pagpaplano ng inyong trip. This is Doc Sami and thank you sa pagsama sa aking biyahe.